Okay, hands up if you've ever started an exercise routine to lose some weight. Most of us have, but our diet and fitness guest today says that's not necessarily the right motivator. Richard Betty from Exercise New Zealand joins us in the Harvey Norman Lounge. Good morning. Good morning. So you're saying, let me get this straight, so I'll focus on shifting some weight isn't a good idea. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, weight is always the thing that they're told, if you're overweight, you need to lose weight. And that particularly if you're um, not active, that therefore activity is the, is the answer to that. And it's certainly true. And, and the element of physical activity is really very much linked to uh, body weight. But to say that that should be the only metric is, is somewhat misleading. And it can actually uh, lead us down a really unhealthy relationship with our bodies. Mm -hmm. And that's why saying losing weight and exercise as the only two things that are linked, I think, is, is potentially dangerous. Okay. Is it that people who carry more weight can sometimes be actually healthier? Yeah, yeah. and so there's a lot of research that shows it is, because there's two different concepts here really. So there's being active and being overweight are not mutually exclusive and that you can be both at the same time. And there's still health benefits from someone who's active but overweight. Okay. Um, and, and a lot of that actually comes not from cardiovascular health. So we know often with, with obesity particularly that there's a lot of risks to cardiovascular health. But things like a lot of the mental conditions, um, particularly as we age, degenerative diseases, a lot of them are related more to activity than they are to body weight. And therefore, if you're an active larger person, you still have lots lower health risks. And in fact, often in your mind you are a happier person. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. So if weight isn't the right measure, I mean, uh, what should we be using? Should we be using BMI or something else? Yeah, so BMI is a really interesting one. Often it's quoted when we're talking about population statistics. And, and that a, stands for body mass index? Yeah, body mass index. Yeah, good question. So body mass index, and it's a one that they often talk about saying, oh, our body mass index as a population is going up. And it's really useful when you're comparing populations, comparing countries, to say that obesity level is higher than another country. The problem is on an individual level, it's not particularly useful. And the reason is that it really gives um, an over uh, an oversimplicity to the problem. And so most athletes, for example, every All Black is obese according to BMI. Okay. Yeah. So it's just not the right metric for us individually. And so oh. if there's one metric you wanted to use that was simple that you could do at home would actually be weight waist to hip ratio. And so you measure your waist around your belly button and your hips around the widest point and then you divide the two. And that in itself is a way better metric and it's way more useful because you can measure it. Right. Um, and again, if you want it, you, know, you can Google what the numbers might mean, but basically 0.8 for a, for a woman and, and 0.9 for a man is, is what you want to be under. 0.8, writing that one down right yeah. now. So, 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 so we take a measurement around our waist. Waist, around, and do the belly button. That's the simplest way to, right. to find that. And Don't then, breathe in, just normal. Yep, just normal. Just, um, and then um, some, if you want to be precise, you can say breathe out, breathe in and then breathe out half. Okay. Um, but then, and then around the hips, the widest point of yep. your hips. And and then you divide the, the waist by the hips, and that number should be lower. So lower is good. In other words, the, the waist should always be less than the hips. Right. Yeah. Um, and it's a, there's slightly different ratios for men and women. So for women, it's... Uh, uh, lower men, than 0.8? Yes. Men lower than 0.9? 0.9, yes. Okay, I've got to do yeah. that when I get home, actually. And, yeah, and, and again, it's a, it's a way better metric than BMI, because BMI takes... It doesn't account your body size, your overall uh, physique. Um, and, it, and it really d d it skews things. Again, it's a good population measure, just not so good for That's one. That's interesting. Yeah. And also interesting what you say about the uh, All Blacks as well. Um, so what about people that are naturally thin? Should they be also concerned about their fitness? Yeah, so if you're, if you're naturally thin but not active, again, it's a, it's a bit like the opposite of the person who might be active but overweight, is that actually there are some risks associated with that, and particularly around cardiovascular health. So this is a good example. of it. It's a bit of and, not or. So if you're thin but not active, be active. If you're overweight and active, great. Maybe you look at getting that body body weight down yeah. but again if you're just one that's okay you know focus on that but that's doing well and then maybe look at bringing that other element okay. under control so just quickly then at the end here um what are the best fitness habits if people are sitting at home on their couches right now what are the best fitness habits that they can start so if you're talking about you know when you're starting into it if you're going to measure things um i would say measure that you go so that I did something today. Yes. And so I did something today, and that is 100 times better than last week because I did nothing. And then maybe next week you went, you did it twice, whatever that something might be. And, and the other thing is, is rather than even any metrics at all, is about how do you feel? Because if you do activity and you feel good afterwards, and whether that just means I felt good because I did it, or I felt good because I physically feel better, that in itself should be the reward and the metric that we use. Because the problem with the focus on weight is, what if I don't lose weight in that first week? I've failed, I'll stop. Yeah. It's like, that's okay, keep going because you've been active and you should congratulate yourself for that's that alone. That's fascinating. Oh, I love your enthusiasm too. Thanks so much for that. You're welcome. You can check out the Exercise New Zealand website for more advice and ideas. <laughs>